welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's actually another Disney video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit of me packing to get ready to go. We are leaving in just a few hours, and so I needed to get everything packed up. I'm gonna show you what's in our park bag. I'm gonna show you what makeup I'm bringing. And then in the middle of all this, my Mickey Monthly box came. So I'm gonna unbox that for you guys so you can see what I got in my Mickey Monthly subscription box for the month of September. Somehow in the middle of all of this like packing and getting ready and running errands and getting gas and doing all this stuff, to, I still need to make a healthy meal for my family that is easy to make and easy to clean up because I don't wanna leave my house in a mess, in the kitchen especially, right before we go on vacation. So thankfully, Home Chef has partnered with me on this video and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how easy it is to cook healthy and delicious and easy meals for your family with Home Chef. And on busy days like this, they're perfect, or just any old day when I don't feel like cooking and thinking about what I'm gonna make, having Home Chef in my kitchen arsenal is a great thing to have. So that You guys need to check out the Home Chef website. There are tons of recipes to pick from, all different taste preferences and how easy they are, more elaborate meals. I have a coupon code for you for $30 off your first order. So it's a really great value and a great way to try Home Chef. Yeah, so that is what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in today's video. If that's something you wanna see, then let's get into it. Everything packed now for our park bag. I always put our magic bands on a binder ring and attach them to our park bag. That way I don't forget them and I don't lose them on the way. So this is gonna go in the car and then these are attached and we'll put them on once we get there. And as you can see, we have our custom magic band decals from Shop Emily G. I will link her website below. We get that we got these last time we went to Disney and they worked really well and held up really well. So we got them again this year. Um, this thing basically stays on the front of my park bag. It's just sits for sunglasses. Anybody that has sunglasses they want to take off, that hangs there. These are not going to stay here. These are actually, I got these for our trip last year. They go around water bottles, but my husband ended up using them for all different things. Um, so one end goes around your water bottle and then the other end goes around, you know, your belt loop or your bag. So these come in really handy. They came from Amazon and one thing I will say, this year is probably gonna be the first time that we are not taking water bottles into the park with us because if you go to any counter service restaurant at Disney and ask for free water, they will give you free water. So we probably won't have to buy any bottled water and we won't have to take any bottled water, which is nice, but my husband likes to use these to hang the keys from and stuff. So I'm gonna hang them here so we don't forget them and he can put them wherever he wants to put them. 
In this side pocket, I just have a travel container of Clorox wipes. You never know when you need to wipe a dirty table or of course when the girls were younger, high chairs and things like that. So I brought a pack of those. And then our favorite um, hand sanitizer, which is the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. Of course, obvious reasons you wanna spray your hands when you can't get to a sink for soap and water. So that's on this side pouch. And then on the other side, we just have our sunscreen. Since we're not staying quite as long, I only brought two bottles. This one's already been used a little bit. And then I have a full bottle in an extra suitcase. So I have this. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and pack the full one and then have the one that you already used a little bit as a backup. So that is the outside of the bag. And then when you open up this first zippered compartment, I have my travel pill case, which has Tylenol and Tums and Pepto pills and my supplements that I'm supposed to take every day. So those go in this little thing. And then I have our Anchor phone charger. I talked about this in a different video because we needed a way to charge both of our cell phones at the same time and a lot faster because our other one we only did one at a time and it was getting really slow. So we upgraded to this one. I just need to remember to bring the wires, which um, we have to kind of pack those last minute because we use them here at home. But I got this this year for this trip specifically and obviously we can use it here at home. So that is gonna be in there. And then also my phone lanyard, I talked about this before. Basically, it just goes around the four corners of your phone. And I use it to carry my phone around my shoulder like a purse almost. And that way my phone is accessible and I can film, I can film a lot easier and a lot quicker when it's on my shoulder. So, and then I have my pop socket on the back. So that's in there. And then the girls neck fans, which my youngest daughter's broke. So there's no cord for this anymore, but at least she's got a fan. So I got one of those for each girl. And then down at the very bottom, I'm bringing some organic bug spray just in case. We didn't end up using that last year. Um, I did take it last year, but hopefully we don't have to use it again this year. I say this year, I guess I should say this trip since this is our second trip this year. Um, and then in this front compartment, I just have a pack of tissues. And the big compartment, I have a couple things. In the very back, I have just a comb. And then I have four of these Dollar Tree ponchos. It rained every day but one when we went in May, which is not typical for that type of time of year, but it was the best dollar ever spent because it, it, we got rained on over and over and over. So I've got four of those. Hopefully we don't need them on this trip. Um, and then this little pouch, I actually um, bring with me pretty much every trip and it's where I keep our reservation papers and anything that's related to the trip that we need. So check-in papers, reservations, a list of our fast passes, even though I know all that stuff's on the app and I do use the My Disney Experience app, I just like also having it in paper form. So I've got that in there. And then also in here, this is pretty much like all of the necessities. So I've got gum, um, lip stuff in case our lips get dry, my um, contact drops, some ponytail ties, pads, um, oil blotting sheets. Um, I need to put my lipstick in here, or my lip gloss, because my colored lip gloss, just in case I wanna touch that up. So that is in that bag. This bag is just the fun stuff. So I always bring a bag like this for every trip that has lots of fun stuff for the girls. And I've actually got extra stuff in a different suitcase. So when we use these things, I'll replenish the stuff in here with the stuff I've got in a different suitcase. So bubbles, always, always, always bring bubbles. These I picked up at Walmart for the girls. They light up and blink. I thought they'd be really cute. So I got two of those. And then some glow sticks I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And there's some more, like I said, packed in that other suitcase. So as we go through these things and use these things, I replenish the stuff that's in this bag, um, you know, every night or every other night, just so the girls have something fun at night when it gets dark or bubbles to keep them entertained and things like that. So that is what's in that bag. And that's really pretty much it. I mean, I know that, I was gonna say that's not very much. I guess to some people that's not very much and to other people it's too much. Um, but I feel like it's a nice mixture of things that we actually need and will use or might need. Uh, combined with things that we just like to have, like the bubbles and the glow sticks and fun stuff like that. So that is our park bag this year. It's all packed and ready to go. And now, so I thought I would also share with you guys the makeup that I packed for this trip. I kind of bounced back and forth between a big makeup bag with no compartments to a bag like this where it's got several compartments. And last year, or last time I went to Disney in May, I just did like a big 
bag with no dividers and just kind of put everything in there and it worked out okay but I really missed being able to hang it up and one thing I like about this is it has a hanger so when we get to the resort all I have to do is pack unpack this and hang it on the rod and then I take the right sink which is right next to the rod and so my makeup can hang there and not be all over the counter but still be really accessible and I think that's the way it works out the best for me this bag has been through it it's covered in dog hair and who knows what else but it really holds a lot and it seems to work out the best for me. So I thought I would share with you guys what I've got and I've got it broken up into face and lips, um, eyes, except there is a face product in there, which I don't know why. And then down here I have the palette I'm gonna bring. Actually, I've got my palette and my sunscreen. So this I use every day, even when I'm here at home, but I especially you know wear sunscreen every day on vacation in the sun, so I'm bringing this. I decided to bring this palette because it did have so many different colors. It's got some of an old e.l.f. palette, some Inglot shades, and then these are um, BH Cosmetics shades. So I thought it was a nice range that I could get a couple different looks if I want to. Um, and then it's just easy to bring. So I got that. In my eye category, I'm just going to take everything out. Which actually, I just got a new eyeliner today, which I am pretty impressed with. So I may actually switch out one of my eyeliners, but maybe not. I don't know. So, best primer in the world. This is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in Nude. I love this stuff, and it's really, really good. So I'm bringing that. And then it is so good and so sticky that you have to put something on top to help make your eyeshadows blend. So I, I bought this a while back. It's just the NYX or NYX Nude Matte Shadow. And so basically I'll put this on and then cover my whole lid in this and then go in and put in a color. And this is the shade Leather and Lace. So I'm bringing that. I'm bringing my Bare Minerals Nude Beach uh, Loose Shadow. I love this stuff. And then my Smashbox Minx Shadow. Really love this stuff. Love, love, love this stuff. This is my second tube of this. This is the... Stila, I can't think of what it's called. What's it called? Stila something. I don't know what it's called, but it's a Stila, like a liquid eyeshadow. I wear this pretty much every day. Um, and this is the color Cloud. It's like a brownish, purplish color. It looks really good with brown accent, like crease colors, and purple accent crease colors. So I love this. And obviously, I don't wear all this stuff at once, but I just like to have options. And then Clear Mascara, which I actually use as brow gel. I've got my favorite eyeliner, which is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. And then I, I this is what I was gonna say. I love the Essence Eyeliner Pen. It's really good, but I got an e.l.f. one today that seems like it may be even better, but whatever, this one's brand new and it's fine. So I'm bringing that. My eyebrow pencil, which is the Maybelline, what's it called? Maybelline Define and Fill. And I actually get blonde, even though I'm a redhead, because it matches the best. My favorite mascara, which is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And then I brought this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which I probably won't use, but I brought it anyway, just in case. So that's all face and then one random, or that's all eyes and then one random face product. And then in the face and lips category, I've got quite a few things because we are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I brought a couple different lipsticks that normally I wouldn't bring. But I got my favorite foundation to wear in the summer or when I'm going to an amusement park. And it's the Revlon Color Stay for Normal Dry Skin in Porcelain. Which is a little hard to find because it's the lightest one they make. But um, I usually have to order it online. But I got that. A brand new tube of that. Also, where is it? My favorite under eye concealer. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I got that. And then this one's for like blemishes and stuff. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage, which I get at Walmart. My Tarte... Uh, blush in what color? Savored. A new Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in Porcelain. I use this as like a setting powder. And then this I use under my eyes to set my under eye concealer. And it, I don't know what it's called. It's like the HD under eye finishing powder or something. I got that. And then I wanted some easy lip colors just to wear every day. So I've got two different shades for that. And then this is from my Minnie Mouse costume. Since I'm going to do like a red lip with my costume, I brought my red lip liner, my clear lip liner, and then I brought a couple different reds. I'm not really sure which lipstick I'm going to do, but um, I did have to bring at least a couple reds. I have options, of course. Even Minnie Mouse needs options. So I brought those for my Minnie Mouse costume. So that is all the makeup that I'm bringing with me on this trip. So I'm in the middle of packing and my Mickey Monthly box came for the month of September. So I thought it'd be really fun to share it with you guys in this video since I am packing for our Disney vacation. There goes Loki. Are you going to lay right there, Loki? 
Uh, oh, how am I gonna, <laughs> how am I gonna unbox this with your head on it? He does this. Whenever he wants me to pay attention to him and I'm doing something else, he'll lay his head on whatever it is that I'm working on. So if it's an organizing basket or laundry or mail, this is what happens. Loki, honey, you're gonna have to move your head. But I wanna see what's in my box. I wanna see. Can you move your head? Well, anyway, this is the Mickey monthly box for the month of September. It is the Mickey combo box. So I'm really excited to see what's in it. I'm sorry, Loki. You can help. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Look. Oh, you suck it up your nose. It's a little confetti that says Happy Halloween and there's little pumpkins. Those are super cute. This is really exciting because obviously we're going to Disney for um, fall and for Halloween for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So this is fun. It's a Magic Kingdom guide map for fall. So that's kind of different. I'm excited to see that even though I will be having my own pretty soon. The usual confetti and uh, wrapping. Let's see what's in this thing first. So whatever this is, uh-oh, it's heavy. I think it's a mug. Yes. It's really heavy. I can't get it out. Loki, quit. Wow, that is really nice. Would you get your nose out of the... Oh, okay, he has to lick it. He gave it his lick of approval. Don't eat it. It says 1971. So the year that Magic Kingdom opened, and it's got the castle as the handle, which now has Loki slobber on it. And then this little compass on the back, that's really nice. That would make a nice gift. So that's exciting. Plus the bubble wrap's exciting. I like to pop that. Let's see what this is. What in the world is this? It's a mummy of some sort, maybe? Let's see. Oh, funny. <laughs> It is Goofy Mummy. He's all wrapped up for Halloween. And look at the little Mickeys here with the pumpkin Mickeys around his middle. That is so fun. Loki. <laughs> you can't have it. It's funny though. Look how funny this is. That's cute. Yeah, I've heard that they have like just seasonal merchandise in the fall and then merchandise for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party that you can only get if you're there for the party, which I'm guessing, I don't know if this came from the party or just from part of their regular fall line that anybody can get in the fall, but that's really funny. I've never had a themed, like holiday seasonal themed Disney stuffed animal before, so that's really nice. Still have a big dog head in the way. Look, Loki, it's something to eat. It's a chocolatey dipped coconut patty. That's neat, I've never seen that. So that's really neat. Is that everything? I think that's everything, Loki. Lots more confetti down there. I will save all that for the girls. That's really exciting to get this right in the middle of packing for our Disney trip. That's really, really funny. So I thought I would share it with you guys in this video just so you could see what came in it. So now it's time to unbox my Home Chef order. Everything was packaged really nicely. You get the recipe card so that you know how to make the recipe and then you can make it again later on your own if you want to. I was really impressed how everything came bagged up like that and individually portioned. It was really, really neat. So I actually got two different meals in this Home Chef order, but today I'm gonna be making the salmon with miso butter just because it seemed the easiest and the quickest. So that's what I'm gonna be making tonight. I was just looking over the instructions, which are very detailed and have pictures, which is nice for people like me. So I was able to get an idea of exactly what I needed to do.
all done now. I was just putting the miso butter mix on top of the salmon. And I'll be honest with you guys, I would never have been able to make something like this on my own. It was really, really good. I love the lime juice and super, super easy on a busy night like tonight. I will have Home Chef linked for you guys in the description box. Definitely check out that link and definitely use the $30 off your first order coupon code. It's a great way to try Home Chef to see how easy it is, the variety of meals that they have on their website every single week that make cooking really easy. Even for people like me who are not very good cooks and maybe not very adventurous, it's a nice way to try out some different recipes that maybe you ordinarily wouldn't. And it's a great value with that $30 off coupon. So definitely check out the link below and I think you guys will like it. Okay. So I just got done taking a shower and washing, drying, and curling my hair. So I'm waiting for the curling iron to cool down so I can pack it and my hair dryer and all those last minute things that you can't pack until like literally right before you leave. But I'm super excited. I was watching some Disney vlogs of other people just to add to my excitement. And I just think it's funny that other people on their vlogs will say like, I'm home when they get to Disney. I'm like, <laughs> It's not your home. It's my home. How could it be your home if it's my home too? <laughs> but I get really excited because it does feel like home and in just, I say a few hours. I mean, it's like half a day, but in half a day, I will be back where I belong, back to Disney, back at Riverside, my favorite resort. And I'm just sober, sober. I'm super excited. So excited. I can't even talk, but thank goodness for Home Chef because today has been super busy. We had school in the morning. I had to finish cleaning. Then we came home from running errands, like those last minute pre-trip errands, and the house smelled like burning plastic, and I didn't know what it was. So I called the fire department, and it turns out our doorbell is going out, or went out, and like the button got stuck, and so the doorbell chime was just sitting there like chiming the whole time that we were gone. So it like burned up the chime in the doorbell. And so just to make sure that everything was okay before we left, I called the fire department, and I was like, this is not an emergency, really. But before I leave, I'd like you guys to come and look at it. So they disconnected the doorbell chime from the doorbell. That way, if anybody rings it while we're gone, it's not going to go off and cause any kind of a fire hazard. Um, so it's just, you know, of course, all that stuff that has to happen right before you go on a trip. But thankfully, they came quickly, and I'm super appreciative of them. But thank goodness I had Home Chef because I didn't have to go to the grocery store. I didn't have to get a bunch of ingredients and figure out what I was gonna make for everybody to eat before we left. You know, I had all the ingredients I needed in the right amounts that I needed and it was easy to easy to cook, easy to pick up and clean up and it was delicious and we are ready to go to Disney now. So um, just really thankful for conveniences like that on a super busy day like this, whether you're going on vacation or it's just a day at home when you're really busy with kids and sports and meetings and things like that. Home Chef is a lifesaver for busy days and busy people. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those, and I will see you guys in the next video.